All right, my Piscean friends, my fishies. Uh, okay, this is your tarot reading, <clears throat> excuse me, for April 2017. This is, I'll pull, or maybe they'll fall out, however it happens. Um, we're aiming for two cards from this deck, which is the... Um, Brotherhood of Light. I think I was saying the Brotherhood of White Light. It's what whatever. The Brotherhood Brotherhood of Light Egyptian Tarot. And then we have the mini harmonious deck just in case, you know, I feel like getting clarifiers from there. The energy of the hummingbird is coming in. Sorry about the glare of the sun's coming down through the window right now. So I dreamt about the hummingbird about a week ago, and that ushers in the energy, which is perfect for right now, um, this high vibrating, colorful, whimsical, magical energy, so like the, the whimsy of the mystery of life, the lighter, more lighthearted, colorful aspects, not the, the heavy shadow work stuff, so... Um, this is what's emerging right now. This energy of emergence is a very high, high vibrating energy. So this frequency is what's coming in for everyone for in April. So for all signs. So um, that's just a little message for everyone that I just you know did at the beginning of each video because that came to me in a dream and so I thought I'd share the animal totem animal medicine with all of you and bless you with it as well so uh, I just shuffled these pretty well so we'll do a little bit on camera though because uh, sometimes they want to just pop out on their own and we'll give it a chance to do that so Pisces April 2017 what messages do the cosmic family members, our benevolent family, benevolent spirits, the ancients, the ancestors, the spirit guides, the cosmic family, your school of fish, <laughs> your team, your support group. What messages do we have for Pisces for April 2017? Pisces. Couple more little shuffles here. Let's see. Couple want to jump out, but the cards have been kind of jumpy, I keep saying, especially on Taurus. <clears throat> All right. Okay, see, I, w I felt one coming, so <laughs> I wanted to shuffle a little bit more. So Pisces, we have, okay, the Hangman. I think that, did that, it just came up for me in my personal Twin Flame reading that I just did, I believe, at the foundation between the two, but I, I could have sworn it came up for another sign. I can't remember. Um, maybe Leo. Or Scorpio. Alright, so let's pick one here. Oh, okay. So we have judgment. The bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Pentacles. We have Venus, which rolls Libra, and we have double Libra right here. Let me put that in the shot. Sorry about that. So Venus. 
which rules Libra. We have double Libra energy. So very balanced, um, new, fresh start to something. Clean slate or something totally brand new coming in. So let it come in. Don't be scared. It's, oh, so yeah, even, okay, so balances, that's funny, because uh, we have Libra again, and it's two of pentacles, so it's just reiterating the balance, and that's the theme that's happening right now, the equinox just happened, so there's, um, sometimes it takes a while for us to warm up to energy, sometimes they can pelt us, bam, and then we kind of acclimate, so I, I think we've been doing a lot of acclimating since the equinox so and that just recently happened so you know um you know be patient with yourself give yourself time to acclimate so this is kind of like that's part of healing too is acclimating adapting to your adapting to your environment so you have the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles so that's you know your tangible environment, um, something is going to be brand new. It could be your actual living environment. Um, so, you know, this, uh, so we have the angel blasting this horn trying to see what the angels saying this time specifically well there's a mother a father and a child um maybe balance is going to come from a, a <clears throat> excuse me expanding your family something you've been waiting for and I just realized I didn't see before that there's grapes wrapped all around this hanged man which you know represents abundance fertility so that's funny that I got that sometimes I get that depending on what other cards sometimes I'll get the family the trinity this energy this healing energy of feeling complete and whole through having you know um, more additions to your family and Pisces, you know, the school of fish, they, you know, they, they like their clan, their clan, their tribe. So, uh, maybe that's, what's going to heal you and balance you out. Um, is this fresh new beginning of an addition to your family possibly? Um, because I didn't see the grapes until just now. Right after I got that impression from the judgment card. So the hangman and the judgment is saying um, that all in due time and everything good is worth waiting for. Those kind of, you know, cliche things. But that's, that's what's coming to me. So there may be some Pisceans out there who are... You know, that's what I mean by a brand new, this is, you know, like a, a seed right here. Brand new fertile beginning. So I was thinking clean slate, but I was kind of thinking like, you know, just actually something brand new, you know. Well, you know, a baby could have had past life, you know, the soul could have had past lives and stuff, but. So. So maybe it's just you and your partner. <clears throat> Or maybe it's just you and your pet. Maybe it's just you and your plants and you want to get a pet. Maybe it's just you and your pet and you want to get a partner. Maybe it's just you and your partner and you want to have a, a little papoose. <laughs> so, <clears throat> different ways of balan balancing out this month of April. And it's coming up. Pretty similar for a lot of the signs, but maybe just, you know, it's, it's going to express itself in a different way for everyone. But um, I think for a lot of, well, maybe not a lot, but, you know, there are some 
Pisceans out there that want to start a family or bring someone on board as far as their household maybe moving in with someone. Yeah, because there is the Ace of Wands next, which is like... And then the Lovers. Okay, so... Yeah, I was kind of getting the impression that you're unifying forces with someone, you know. So your living situation, your finances, you may be unifying your finances with someone. Um, you know, your businesses it may involve something that you're you're both you both have a similar passion, core value. It could be a twin flame thing because the lover and the ace of wands, two of pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is kind of, you know, um, maybe it's twin flames who are, who want to have, start, you know, making babies and having a family now. Because there's the Queen of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, so very abundant, fertile. Okay, so I'm really getting the impression of a family here. There was some kind of obstacle, some kind of delay, maybe, um... Maybe you sought out some kind of advice from spiritual advice to doctors to but you know there's like this offer of love. You know you have this man offering a man woman man whatever but you know it's like this offer of love isn't the obstacle because you're the queen of cups and you have someone offer or the queen of wands so you're fertile you're ready you're biological clocks ticking, whatever you, you know, you could be a man who wants to start a family, you know, you could be an older man with a younger woman or vice versa, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter age or gender, but, um, the love isn't the issue, you know, maybe there was a delay because of just, you know, geography of mo literally moving in together, combining forces, you know, um, your passions are aligned because there's the Ace of Wands, but maybe you had to transform the Two of Pentacles into the Ace of Pentacles, you know, so there was some transitioning that had to take place. Um, before you could do what you really wanted to do, which was extend your family. But moving in together, moving in with someone, that's, that, you know, that can be considered an extension right there. Um, especially if it's the first time living with someone. But um, I really get that it's someone who aligns with your core values because Two of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Lover's Card, okay, and the Judgment, the Healing, you see the little family here. The abundance of the grapevines all over the hangman so maybe the thing that you were waiting for was more fertile ground more stable fertile ground before you planted the seed um and literally like the seed like the sperm or any stuff you know but um you wanted to wait to make sure you aligned your core values aligned or that um yeah, because, you know, some people want to combine finances, some want to keep them separate. So you need to make sure you're with someone who aligns with, if you want to keep them separate, that they're the same kind of person. <laughs> so you wanted to make sure that these your values aligned, that you complemented each other before you unified um, anything in the tangible world you know, the, those two of pentacles representing each one of you before you made it that one unified force of the ace of pentacles, you wanted to make sure your core values aligned, which is the ace of wands, and you discovered that it did. So, um, maybe the waiting time was just, you know, like that transition so that the next step of combining finances and your life and all that, um, you know, it, moving in together and all that stuff is making way for a more fertile ground for you to take those next steps.
and unifying even further. So, it's like building memories. I keep getting like we're, we're you're building, building a family, building memories, building those those trips together, building those memories, yeah. Building up a level of comfort that feels good to where it feels good for you, to where you feel steady and stable. You want a real fertile ground, so, so you'll wait till it's right. And you have, and now you're ready for that next step, that transition. And that's, and it's going to go well, and it's going to lead to things deepening. Things will elevate and deepen, so. And for Pisces, that's good. You know, um, they're very intuitive, very, you know, sensitive and emotional, and that, they, you know, they, they love, they really love. They're, they're very um, unifying in that way. Cancer too. It's like very family oriented, you know, this, this, the school of fish, you know, the family, the clan is very important to them. So, so it may be different stages for different people, but there's some unifying, things are deepening in some aspect of your life it's elevating and deepening at the same time so yay Pisces all right and my twin flames moon is is Pisces so that's a very powerful moon so um, some of you are watching your moon sign what you know so yeah um, a lot of synchronicities in these readings, so I'd encourage everyone to watch, you know, whatever. If you watch your Venus, your Moon, your Rising, your whatever, it'd be interesting to see how they all sync up with everyone. So, all right, Pisces, have a blessed April this year, and I love you all, and peace be upon you all.